Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 5 of season 2 here at Fulham. We'll be ending the transfer window today and playing Wolves at the very least. Oh, probably, depending if much happens on transfer day, probably play Liverpool as well. I'm not planning on making any changes to the squad at present. We have enough money to be able to make a decent signing in January, but it depends how we get on in the first half of the season as to where we decide to improve when January comes. We'll wait and see. We've got Wolves away, though, in the Carabao Cup to start things off. I would like to go on a cup run. It'd be a good way to uh, get a piece of silverware in, because obviously we're not going to be winning the Premier League uh, anytime soon. So if I can win the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup, that would be superb. I'm going to make changes, though, to the starting lineup with Liverpool on the horizon, obviously. Put uh, Cabano wide one side and Iite wide the other, and then I'll start Rafael Leal through the middle. I'm going to go and alter my starting lineup. Feel free to drop the video a like if you enjoy, of course, and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. In fact, actually, I want to put Cissé at centre mid and Fosu Mensa at CDM. And then because we haven't yet been able to sell... Where's Dennis? Oh, there he is. Because we haven't yet been able to sell Dennis Adoy, I can uh, throw him into the starting lineup at right back. Dawson will get his first start for us. And at left back, I'm going to have to go for... Uh, Joe Bryan still, but that's fine. That's not a problem. I initially, I was going to play Fosu Mensa at left back, but decided to play him at CDM instead. And we'll put Johansson on the bench. In fact, e no, let's do let's do this. We'll put Fosu Mensa at wing back, and we will use Cisse at CDM. We'll use Johansson in the midfield. Uh, I won't change keeper though. I'll leave Rossi in for Betty Lee. He's actually grown a little bit, in fairness to him, even though he's really not very good at all. Put Tim Ream on the bench. Had an offering for him, accepted it in the last episode, and he didn't accept the move, which was frustrating, but never mind. Rue Fonte can go on the bench. Uh, and, yep, I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's go and play this game against Wolves then in the Carabao Cup. I will rotate, but the side should still be strong enough to uh, to get us through to the next round, hopefully. Wolves. Right, Wolves starting lineup: John Ruddy in goal. Ibanks Landell at centre-back. They've got Diego Jota in their front through with Zyra on the right and Benic Afobe at striker. They do have Ruben Neves in there. They're five at the back with Chris Gunter at left-back. Defensive from Wolves, not their strongest lineup by any stretch. See if we can beat it. It's not my strongest lineup by any stretch either, is it, to be fair? So I can't be too critical. Nandes, forward there to Leao, around the corner to Ayite. Drops the shoulder really nicely, actually. They might be playing five at the back, but they are low on defenders back here to start the game. That deflection might hinder the chance it in the end did, actually, but we were still able to get the shot off on target, or shot off on goal. Perhaps hitting the bar, you shouldn't say he's on target, but still... Really positive start to this game. He's Jason Fernandez. We'll look for Rafael Leal. Hits early and John Ruddy holds on. Right. We could score a couple of goals here if we can make this pressure pay in the opening stages. Zyro. Oh. Oh, get up. Oh, come on. That's not a foul. Free kick for Wolves. You're going to shoot from it probably. Certainly when it's Ruben Neves over it. Over the wall and over the bar. Although he does have the ability to do much better than that Ruben Neves. Nice tackle by Jason Fernandez. And so there to Johansson. We'll play the ball through for Rafael Leal. Rafael Leal behind the defender and across here to Cabano. There's a 1 0 lead. We are making the early, pre early pressure pay. Fulham 1, Wolves 0. Again with a man free at the back post. We're similar with the effort earlier with Rafael Leal that unfortunately didn't result in a goal coming back off the bar. This time we are able to tuck it home. We're in front and looking comfortable at this stage. Gunter. Left hand side. This is their first foray forward. Price into Zyro. Back to Benicophobi. This is a good move. And Jota plays it back to Ruben Evers. And Afobi misses the target. That parting was impossible to defend for a time there. Thankfully, Benicophobi hasn't hit the target. If he did score, then that would have been a brilliant goal. Thankfully, he didn't. And we can keep our lead. And Afobi is giving me back possession as well. Thanks, pal. Price over the top. Adoy battling with Diego Jota. We've been able to win it. I didn't realise Jota was so young. He's only 21 years of age. I thought he was in his mid-20s. Actually quite an exciting prospect being that young. Perhaps someone to look at for future series on FIFA 19. Won't be signing him on this one. Ruben Neves floats that free kick in and will head it away. Got a goal and an assist, Ruben Neves. 
in the Premier League against Everton for balls in real life. Lovely ball forward to Aite there, who's turned well too. And the runner, Rafael Leal, will draw one defender away and then will sneak it into Rafael Leal. But he can't keep his shot down, similar to Benny Kofobi. Good header by Jetson Fernandez. Rafael Leal brings that down. Gunter. Inside to Price. Here's Benny Kofobi. Oh, that's a nice through ball to Diego Zota. Timothy Fosimensa, thankfully, strong enough to hold him off. Good defending from the youngster. That was a terrible pass from Johansson. I've no idea what he's doing there. Zyro to Benikafobi, waiting for the turn. There it is, and thankfully he's gifted possession back again. Johansson, for a second time, gives the ball away. I'm starting to wonder whether I should have started him at centre mid ahead of Timothy Fosimensa. Nevis with the turn. Jetson Fernandez misses the tackle. Nevis' shot comes off Timothy Fosimensa. Playing well in that left back role. Corner to come in from the Portuguese. It's decent. A phobie looks to head it on. And Jetson Fernandez and again Timothy Fosu Mensa in the way. Oh, that's good football. Taking out two defenders with one pass. Cissé has to head behind. Let's see what we can do defensively from the corner. Can we get rid of this, please? Catch that keeps. Right. We will be 1 0 up at half time. Lovely ball. Looking for Helder Costa. Good tackling from Denis Adoy, actually. A player that I am looking to sell on in this uh, transfer window. I just. As of yet, haven't had any offers for him. Win the header, please. Alfie, he hasn't. And the phobie flips it on, but it's comfortable enough for Rossi to bring down. Whether well, Bettinelli would have made that save, I'm not sure. He made a couple of questionable goalkeeping decisions in pre-season. I'm going to bring Morrison out of position here and hope that it's all right. Don't give a foul. He hasn't. Good. Because would... Why is my passing so bad? That would have been a horrible place to concede a free kick. Oh, he was on the floor, Costa, until the moment the ball popped up next to him and then he shot to his feet, didn't he? Good save by Rossi and it will be a corner for Walls. That was gamesmanship of the absolute highest quality. Ruben Neves to cross the ball in from the corner. In it's whipped. Underneath it is Jota and straight at Rossi, thankfully. Walls piling the pressure on me now, the same way that we did to them in the opening stages of the first half. Hopefully they aren't able to cap it with a goal, whereas we were. Jota. Drilled that across there to Helga Costa. Helga Costa tackled by Dennis Adoy. And away we come on the counter. Lovely ball into Floyd Aite. If Banks Landell's no slouch, then a straight line though. But can we find the ball? Look to scoop at the outside of his foot. It won't reach Rafael Leal, but we'll pick up the pieces. Still try and build something. Jason Fernandez into Johansson. Johansson turns while Johansson shots deflected and it takes it wide of the target. Could have flown into the top corner. As it happened, it didn't. Cabana will deliver the set piece. It's a good ball in. And Callas with the header. Clawed away by the keeper. Wins the second header. Thomas Callas to his centre-back teammate, Alfie Mawson. Who gets clattered. Goes down and stays down. He's offside here, I think, Benikafobi. And was, luckily. And hopefully, Alfie Mawson's all right. He's back to his feet and back in position. And doesn't appear to be holding any part of his anatomy with that kind of I'm hurt animation that is in the game. Remember, they like lean hold on to their elbow or lean and hold their knee or hamstring or something if they're hurt. So hopefully he's all right to continue. Hopefully Cabano will go again. He has done, but we'll look for Rafael Leal first, then to Cabano to make sure it reaches him. Nice turn. Johansson's in there. And people across here. This has worked about well. Jetson Fernandez from the edge of the box. It's blocked, but it will drop here to Floyd Aite. Oh, what a... I thought it was a save, actually, from Ruddy. It wasn't. He's fired that well over the top of the bar. Ten minutes to go. I will make a change here. Let's bring on Anguisa for Fernandez. Weirdly, I'm going to bring on Steven Sessegnon. Don't know why I'm doing that. And let's bring Hill on. I called him up to the first team recently. 76 acceleration, 75 agility and balance, 70 sprint speed. Might start training him, although only two-star weak foot and skill moves doesn't necessarily make him the most usable of players. But hopefully our young player roster will improve with the uh, scout currently out looking. For now, though, he's going to get the chance to do something off the bench in the final 10 minutes. And hopefully that's something will either lead to us holding on to our 1-0 lead or extending it. And Gisa, short there to Cissé. I see, I see the ball on here, out to Cabano. Rafael Leal didn't make the best of moves there, but Johansson's played in, running out of space. We'll get rid of it. Give that in there to Hill, who turns well. I checked his weak foot and his skill moves. What I actually didn't check was what footedness he is. That's even a phrase, footedness. I think I've used that phrase before, but I don't know whether it's actually proper English. Cissé into Johansson. He'll shoot on his left. Pinballs around and Doherty will clear. Out of curiosity, I will just quickly check and see what he'll... He's left-footed. All right. He's the left-footer left -footer on the right side. We'll bear that in mind for future reference. Can I tackle the ball away from him there? I can. Cabano. 
That's a waste. Oh, it's still going, Cabano. He's trying his hardest here, and John Ruddy will just get rid. And there's the final whistle. A win in the Carabao Cup. We're through to the next round. Right, let's go in the transfer window, and then we'll play Liverpool too. Right, transfer deadline date. There's been a latest deal seeing Iñaki Williams go for almost £50 million to Espanyol. I didn't know Espanyol had that sort of financial clout, to be completely honest. Uh, £104 million spent already. Is that another big deal? No. Uh, Alex Tellez has gone to Manchester City, though, for £37.8 million. That's the third biggest deal of the transfer window so far. Now, £196 million spent. Andre Gomez to Juventus for £53 million. Is that here? It's not. It's on the right-hand side. I'm probably in the way, though. Apologies. Andre Gomez to Juve for £53 million is now the second biggest deal of the window. However, that may have changed again. It hasn't. Cavalero has gone to Bologna for 13.6. .6. million. It almost seems to be going up by £100 million an hour at the minute, doesn't it? See if that's going to change in hour six. Uh, I don't know. Transfer offer for Patrick Catrone. Uh, reject. Thank you very much, Swansea. He's my starting striker. He's going nowhere. Nowhere? He's going nowhere. £221 million spent now. Make that £374 million. Transfer for Thomas Callas. He too is going nowhere. Sorry, Huddersfield. I don't think, other than the people that are on the transfer list, there's anyone that I would consider selling at this stage. We mentioned kind of saving my money for January at this particular moment in time. And with two hours to go in the transfer window, now a single hour to go in the transfer window, an offer for Tom Kearney. You'd have to offer me like 25 million plus for someone like Kearney for me to even consider it. And I don't think anyone would actually be willing to do that. Almost 500 million pounds spent in this transfer window. Though. Nothing spent in the penultimate hour. So the top deals, Pjanic, Gomez and oh, Marquinhos to Manchester City for 51.2 million. That's interesting. I'll do the quick rundown of the teams and then the uh, overall transfer window though. Uh, Arsenal bringing in Labour, Knockhart and... Knockhart?! To Arsenal, interesting. Nelson out. Asad Mayoral, Borja presumably. Martinez and Calidream, or Cal Calderim, sorry, in at Bournemouth with nothing going out. Chelsea, Grimaldo in the left back. And eight, Tammy Abraham out. Sanchez and Manuel in at Palace with Sully Kaikai -Kai leaving. Amiena Du, Alhaft, or Alhaft, sorry, and Samata in at Derby with nobody going out. Jemison and Bauer in with Yannick Balassi going out for Everton. That's since we played them because Balassi played against me. We've spent 44.7 million. Sherla Fosimensa, Zabo Anguisa, Mawson and Fernandez all in with just Camara going out. Uh, Camara went out? When did I do that? Was that alone? When did I? I don't remember selling Camara. Whatever. Uh, Stendera, Mere and Pereiro in at Huddersfield with nothing out. Cresswell and Rabat in at Leicester with nothing out. Calabria, Vidal and me in at Liverpool with Matip, Sturridge and Alexander-Arnold going to Real Madrid, of course, at Liverpool. City have spent £100 million. Hakimi, Tellez and Marquinhos in. Otamendi out. And Marquinhos, obviously, the Otamendi replacement. Johnny, Smolnikov, Pulisic and Dinier in at Manchester United. That's a big window. Fosu Mensah and Damian out. Fosu Mensah to me, of course. Cochrane and Balassi in at Newcastle with Rolando Aarons and Iosi Perez leaving. Ralston, David or David, don't know, and Soa in at Southampton with Nathan Redmond going out. Spurs have brought in Leia Baptistel and Marco Marin with Carter Vickers, Gaia, Walks, Lamella and Sissoko leaving. Stoke getting promoted back to the Premier League of sold, uh, signed sorry, Redmond, Wu Chan Yang and Charhead, nothing going out. Swansea, Polymat, Freitas and Adnan with Alfie Mawson coming to me. Leroy Fur and Al Barake going out. Watford have signed Simone Scuffett, actually. Rodrigo, striker, as we saw earlier on. Dini and Pereira going out. Mehdi Benatia, Julian Weigel and Fonseca in at West Ham. Strong window for them with Aaron Cresswell going out. And Wolves have signed Pushkas and Tammy Abraham with Cavalero going to Bologna as we saw a moment ago. So the transfer has, or transfer window, sorry, has ended. We'll have a quick look at the other. Have I got... Now you offer for a doy, dickheads. Uh, I don't want the Egyptian international manager job, but thank you very much. Uh, players leaving an international duty isn't important because we'll have a break. Dennis Adoy, 850,000. Not going to be accepting that. But he then will leave in January if we are able to arrange a deal here. I'll ask for 1.5. That's close to twice what they've offered. But hopefully they'll... Ugh, give me 1.2 and I'll accept it. Or if I counter offer 1.2 and they say... Fine! The extra couple hundred grand isn't going to make any difference, similar to Tim Ream. Unfortunately, the Tim Ream deal fell through, didn't it? So I will play Liverpool at the end of this episode. Might be a longer one because 
There's been a lot of talking in this, but such is the way of things sometimes. Uh, biggest deals in the window. Pjanic to Barcelona. Uh, and Andre Gomez going the other way, actually. Even though it took an extra two weeks, or almost three weeks, to get done. Well, it was more than three weeks, actually, to get done. Uh, Marquinhos to City, as we saw. And Yaki Williams, as we saw. Teles to Manchester City. Chelsea have uh, signed Grimaldo. Julian Weigl to West Ham, Baptiste out to Tottenham, Brahimi to Valencia, it's one we didn't see for 32.9 million. Husay to Schalke at right back. Uh, Benatia we saw, Pablo Sarabi was 27.6 to Arsenal. Matip to PSG for 26.9. There's that Dinier deal, the fee for it. Otavio to Bremen, Rafael Guerrero to Valencia. Uh, Rodrigo to Watford as we saw. Munayin to AC Milan, that's an interesting one. Uh, Martin, Sidibe, Didavi. Gaitan to Zenit for 22.2. Gaitan, I don't know whether that's his squad number or his age, 30. I presume it's his age. Let's have a look, player by a... Uh, yeah, it's his age. Okay, great. Uh, Johnny to Manchester United, as we saw. Jemison, Janko, Iskel Garay to Monaco. Sammy Kadira to Wolfsburg. So Juventus sold a midfielder, signed a midfielder, and then sold another one. I don't know whether they've replaced Sammy Kadira. Danilo to Stuttgart. Gulam to... Uh, there you go. Any other big names? Lamella went to Atleti for £15.5 million. Sturridge to Leverkusen for £15 million. Ah, that's where Kamara went. He was part of the Schurler deal. Well done, Ches. That's why uh, he was on that list. Ezekiel Barco, the player that always gets recommended in the comment section, going to Locomotive Moscow. Right, let's go and play Liverpool, shall we? And then we'll end the episode. Hopefully, we can get a win in this one, or at least a draw. Simon Mignolet in goal for Liverpool. Nacio Abate at right back. The rest of the back line, as you would expect it. Shibarela, Fabinho and Henderson in the midfield with Salah. Oh, Ings and Mane. No Firmino. Did they sell Firmino in this save? I can't remember. They've got Lalana, Solanke, Calabria, Origi. They must have sold Firmino in this save. I genuinely can't remember. I think they did. Was it to Real Madrid? I might be mistaken. If I am, feel free to let me know in the comments. Perhaps I'll remember to have a search for him once I've finished this game and find out where he actually is. But Liverpool at home. We lost our opening home game of the season. Let's, to a side from Merseyside, let's try and not do that in game number two, shall we? Fabinho across to Sivarela. Heavy tackle, Lenguisa steps in and we'll send Ryan Sessi on the way. Virgil van Dijk's coming across to me. Can I find Catrone? That's the question. Can I find anyone? Yes. Oh, good save, Mignolet. Perhaps should have driven it low. Trying not to utilise the low-driven shot so much in this save because of how overpowered it is. And, you know, I was scoring a hell of a lot of goals with it in unrealistic situations in other series. You guys asked me not to, and I haven't done. We've scored some more realistic goals rather than, you know, FIFA-style goals in this save. And we had a still a decent first season here at Fulham. Unfortunately, not able to take the lead from either that effort or the resulting corner, despite Andre Scherler's good header. Sadio Mane switching away from me, and Jordan Henderson will actually give Liverpool the lead. So they've gone right up the other end, and made me pay for not tucking it away in the first place at the opposite end of the field. Right, 1-0 Liverpool. Great. Ryan, the ball through the gap to Seri. We'll play in Ryan Session in behind. I need people to arrive in the middle, and arriving is... Patrick Catrone, but the defender got to that first. Kenny will get this to Jean-Michel Seri. Let's try and bend it from the edge of the box. Oh, and rather unluckily hit the inside of the post. Oh, wow. He scored. Someone actually mentioned this in the comments section because I did mention it a number of times with Tom Kenny last year. Uh, his goal against Liverpool at Anfield last season. And literally, I caught myself there almost mentioning it again by saying how similar a strike that was from Jean-Michel Seri to Tom Kearney's goal against Liverpool that he scored at Anfield last year. Oh, GG to whoever that was in the comment section. I'm sure you're having a little bit of a giggle to yourself right now, the fact that I've brought that up. But can Catrone get us in front here, or back level even? No, is the answer, because Dejan Lovren is in the way. She oh, off the ball by Shira Vela. And Danny Ings swiss me one way than the other. Oh, he's found Manny beautifully. I thought Salah was the obvious ball on there. Somehow he's been able to find Sadio Mane. I think Liverpool are going to be too much for me here. Look, look at Salah. You'd play Salah in that situation, wouldn't you? But no, he plays that ball to Sadio Mane. Questions about the keeper's positioning because it wasn't too far away from him. But still, 2-0. Throw for Liverpool. Mane back to Robertson. Mane again. 
totally, totally done the foot in, but not got the ball away. Henderson. Jordan Henderson into Shira Vela. Good block, right, counter attack. Why are you moving out the? Why are you moving out the way the ball was on Michelle? It was a pass meant for you. Ah, oh, never mind. Out wide here to the right hand side. We've got five minutes. If I can get myself a goal back before half time, I'll feel kind of confident about doing something in the second half. Andre Serla doesn't have four star skills, so I can't do a Ronaldo top in that situation. Serra's first touch is decent to work some space, but Van Dijk gets back. Fabinho actually gets in the way and knocks that back to me. And now Serra's got space again. We can work it through back up there to Catrone. He's turned brilliantly, and we have got one back before half time. Lovely finish by Patrick Catrone. His first goal this season in the Premier League. Really nicely done. Turns superbly with Virgil van Dijk on his shoulder and buries it. We have gotten the goal back before half time that we were after. 2 1. Game on again. Mane. Turns. Oh, nicely done by Barnier. Sherlock trying to get away from Andrew Robertson. Has done well. Catrano back there. Oh, no. It's supposed to go to right Sessignon. There we go. Sessignon. Good turn. Down the channel for Catrone. Got Dejan Lovren with me. He's not going to get it off me. Look for Ryan Sessignon here. Find him. Good block by Robertson. Could have gone across to Scherler, but I wasn't 100% sure he was on side. So I didn't want to play the extra pass if I didn't need to. In the end, the shot was well blocked. And that pass is well picked off. Into Christie. I recall there to Anguissa. Kenny to Cotone. Kenny's gone again. And we'll find him. Not again, surely. Oh, deflected. <laughs> that would have been amazing. If I'd been able to replicate the goal that he scored against Liverpool last time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. Ings driving down the line. Cuts that back nicely to Robertson, who has got a devilish cross on him. Ings, I'm not sure about his crossing ability. Fabinho drills that into Shiravella to Henderson, who's already scored once. Salah on his left foot and finishes exactly how you would expect Mo Salah to finish. First time, top bins. Pick that out. Doesn't matter about the intentions of the defender near him. Fired in, bends it, uses the defender as a marker, keep it unsighted, and even if it had seen it, I don't think it would have gotten anywhere near it. Great finish. 3-1. Christie, back there to Andre Scherler. Into Seri. Kearney, Catrone. Kearney, Catrone. Oh, good save by Mignolet. Thought that was going to be 3-2 for a moment. Session drops the shoulder well, whips in a good ball. Can we get to that? We can't. Gisa will get to the loose ball, though. Turns well. Kenny shows himself, offers himself his support. Seri, Catrone, he spun a defender again. Oh, but he's strong enough to hold off Lovren and cleared away. Nice tackle. Oh, I've knocked it only to Andrew Robertson, though. Forward there to Mane. Robertson's going to go again and get played in. Nice tackle by Anguissa. Somehow the ball squares through to Mane. Now they're showing off. I don't know what that was from Sadio Mane, but it was disgusting. Danny Ings scores a fourth. All right. Fair play. 4-1. I don't quite think I deserve to lose quite so heavily, but still a good performance from Liverpool. We are going to lose two of our opening three games of the season. Both defeats coming at home, both defeats coming against teams from Merseyside. Wonderful. Never mind. We've got the win against Derby, and hopefully we can push further forward and start to improve results in the rest of the season. Jensen Fernandes could get us another goal back. Goal difference might be important come the end of the season. Seri should have played the extra pass to Sessegnon. Oh, perhaps I'm just not acting on instinct. I don't know. We've got the win against Wolves though and that's important. At least we've got a couple of wins under our belt now against Derby and Wolves. But defeat against Everton yesterday and defeat against Liverpool today despite having more chances. Five shots on target for them. Four goals. Clinical. Wolves beat Manchester United by a goal to nil. Perhaps it was an even better result against them than we initially gave ourselves credit for. Regardless, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have the traditional scout report, squad report. I always mix those two up for some reason. We'll have the traditional squad report tomorrow. Uh, we'll post the transfer window squad report tomorrow. Derby rock bottom. Chelsea in the relegation zone at present. We are 13th, so things not necessarily going much better for us. And other teams have games in hand on us too. Ah, monthly scouting update. Hello. Uh, you're not going to be good enough. You might be. You're a goalkeeper, though, so question. Oh, six foot six. Yeah, go on then. I'll just train him, and then I can sell better Nelly. Uh, reject that. We'll reject you, and we'll reject you. Okay, well, we've another youngster to concentrate our attentions on. Um, who do I take out of? I won't, I won't start training that young goalkeeper yet. We'll get everybody here a little bit higher. I could maybe take Cessiano out and start training the goalkeeper. Catrone is now 76 rated. Literally just gone up a rating there. Everyone's doing well. 
the squad's growing nicely. We haven't yet found our rhythm with the new signings, but that will come. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.